Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Prep 101 MCAT course. I'm gonna cover how the Prep 101 course is structured, what the classes are like, pricing, and of course, what I like and what I don't like. So if you're ready, we've got a lot to get to. Let's hit it. All right, so to kick things off, I just wanna mention up front here that since I'll just be sorta of limited to talking about the major highlights and lowlights in this 10 minute or so video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Prep 101 MCAT Review. That's a quick way to find it. All right, so let's kick this review off by breaking down how the Prep 101 course is structured and what the classes look like. This will give you a basic idea of the day in and day out of this course and provide some context for my thoughts. So from a high level, the backbone of this prep course is the series of live classes with some other components wrapped around it, which I'll get to here in a minute. But essentially this course turns on its classes and they work like this. Before class, you're given an assignment, which generally consists of reading a chapter from the exam crack or study guide, as well as completing 20 to 30 practice problems. Sometimes it's fewer questions or none at all, and sometimes it's just a partial chapter to read, but on average, you're looking at one chapter and about 24 questions. Then you have the actual class, which is gonna be the heart and soul of your learning with Prep 101. The live classes take place over Zoom and are led by a team of specialists, so you'll generally have different instructors depending on the topic. The classes are four hours long, but are broken out into two separate segments. The first half of the class is the lecture, where your instructor will deliver the content review portion of your lesson. These lessons track with the classroom companion workbooks that Prep 101 gives you, which are filled with detailed notes. And just to be clear, the lecture isn't just a teacher talking at you for two hours. They're usually sprinkled with tons of practice problems to demonstrate key points being made. Then the second half of each class is a practice session. These segments of class are usually used to do an in-class exam called an ICE. And they're usually given two different ways. Some you'll work on your own under time conditions like a real section of the MCAT with the detailed review of each question afterwards. And for others, your instructor will walk you through the entire exam slowly, dissecting passages and teaching you hacks and strategies for leveling up your score. Then after class, you'll jump over to the AMC Prep Hub to work assigned questions in the AMC question pack or section bank that cover the same topics covered in the lesson and the ICE. And that's generally how the live classes and assigned work around them go. However, there are four general components that revolve around this core of classes. Optional work, CARS workshops, practice exams, and meetings with your MCAT coach. And on that first point, optional work. If you feel so inclined because you have free time or maybe you just wanna work on a weak spot, Prep 101 gives you optional assignments for each class. This comes in two forms, short video lessons and extra practice sets. So say you're struggling with the function of the pancreas and just want a five minute quick hit video breaking that down. That's exactly what these videos are for. The video lessons are short on-demand videos that each cover very narrow subtopics. Then there's the bonus practice work, which is just like it sounds, optional practice sets covering material from that class. Then the second component I just mentioned is the cars workshops. Because of the uniqueness of the cars section, Prep 101 offers 12 separate two hours cars workshops that are interspersed throughout the length of the course. Then third, you've got practice exams. In total with Prep 101, you'll get access to 20 full length practice tests, five from exam crackers, five from the AMC, and 10 from Altius. Like the CARS workshops, these usually take place throughout the duration of the course, usually set at intervals based on discussions with your MCAT coach, which is actually the final component wrapped around these classes. With Prep 101, you get assigned an MCAT coach who helps guide you through the course. They'll help fine tune your study plan and schedule, make sure you're making progress and answer any particularly difficult question types that keep tripping you up. This is something you don't get with most other MCAT prep providers and is a big value add in my opinion. So that's the Prep 101 MCAT course in a nutshell, a series of live online classes with assigned homework before and after surrounded by other features and facets such as MCAT coaching, bonus work, practice exams and workshops. And I know I covered that pretty quickly. So if you wanna see a more detailed breakdown of exactly how this course plays out, be sure to check out that full review I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have more detail over there so you can get a feel for what to expect. All right, so before we dive into my thoughts, let's quickly cover Prep 101's pricing as it's an important topic and will help provide some more context. And this is actually pretty simple. Prep 101 offers one course format at one standard price, $2,300. 
Putting this in perspective, that's right in line with the prices of live online courses from Kaplan, Princeton Review, Blueprint, and Altius. They're all within a couple hundred or so dollars of each other. So it's not significantly cheaper or more expensive. But what I will say here is that Prep 101 also offers an unlimited free repeat policy with no questions asked, which is something that those others don't provide. So do keep that in mind. Also, it's definitely worth mentioning that Prep 101 does sometimes run special sales and promotions, and you can snag a discount on this MCAT course, so be sure to check for coupon codes before buying. In fact, I'll do my best to keep the description down below the video screen updated with the most current discount codes that might be out there, so make sure to check that out and save yourself some coin if Prep 101 ends up being the right fit for you. And by the way, on that point, if I could just say, we work really hard to produce honest and helpful content, all totally free. So if Prep 101 does end up being the right choice for you, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would use those links listed down below in the description. That's how you can support our channel and allow us to keep creating these types of helpful review videos. And if it turns out that Prep 101 isn't the right match for you, it's no problem at all. I just wanna make sure you get matched up with the right prep course and we have a ton of other helpful review videos that you can check out. Okay, so now that we've covered pricing and what the Prep 101 lessons and program are all about, let's get into the good part. What I like and what I don't like after using this course. And let's start with the things that I like. Number one, I absolutely love the thoroughness of this course. They hit you with everything. Live classes, on-demand supplemental video lessons, assigned readings, practice sets, practice exams, MCAT coaching, and a bunch more. Honestly, when I first saw the roster of study materials, I was shocked by the level of depth. This course is definitely not for the faint of heart, but if you're committed to getting a top tier MCAT score, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a more comprehensive package. All right, number two, the written materials. So when you sign up for Prep 101, they're gonna send you out a box of books. And let me just tell you, this thing weighs like 50 freaking pounds. So make sure to lift with your legs and not your back when you pick it up from your doorstep. But it's all really good stuff. Not only do you get the exam cracker study guides and practice work, which I'm a huge fan of, but they also hook you up with these awesome class companions and annotated notes that make the lectures super easy to follow and digestible. Okay, my third pro is the structure of the live classes. I love this classic framework of assigned reading and practice questions, live class with lecture and guided practice work, then assigned homework post-class. It's a classic and effective method just like you're used to from college. And when you spread it out over multiple days like they suggest, it really juices up your attention. All right, so last up here, number four. I like the Prep 101 instructors. They're all really good. They know their stuff inside and out from a substantive perspective, and they're great communicators. They're down to earth, realistic about expectations, and willing to go with the flow of the class to make sure everyone's understanding. Bottom line, I was a big fan of their core group of instructors. All right, so that covers my pros. Now let's flip sides and talk about the things that I wasn't crazy about. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple dinner. Everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes less than 10 seconds to enter, and hey, you never know. You could win a free Prep 101 MCAT course. Okay, so the negatives, and I just have two of them. First up, well, I like the thoroughness of this course, as I just mentioned, it is very intense. You have four class sessions per week on average, and if you follow their recommendation of spreading out pre-class work, actual class, and post-class homework across those three separate days, the middle of the week can become kind of bananas. In a single day, you might have to do homework from an OCHEM class the day before, then attend class for a physics session, then pre-read for the following day's bio class. In short, it can just be a lot. While you can technically push some of the post-class homework back to the weekend if you want, if you're really trying to stay on point and keep up, it's intense. Though I would just note one sort of mitigating factor of this craziness is the fact that Prep 101 uses a flex format for their classes. Basically, they offer each live class four times per day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. This is something I haven't seen any other MCAT prep provider do, and I do think being able to choose your class time each day could help you manage those heavy workloads especially if you've already got a pretty busy schedule. So bottom line, it is intense, but if you're up for the challenge, it's absolutely an effective structure. Though, like I said earlier, it's not for the faint of heart. All right, number two, problem solutions. So in your student portal, Prep 101 gives you close to a couple hundred on-demand videos of instructors solving problems from the AMC question packs and section bank. These are meant to help you review your post-class homework assignments where you think you need it. The only thing I'll say here though is that while I like that these supplemental problem solutions are offered, they're just a little slow moving. Don't get me wrong, they're thorough and effectively break down the questions, but they're just tedious. 
For whatever reason, compared to the way your instructor solves problems during the guided practice sessions in class, they just move at a glacial pace and are kind of boring. But anyway, that's all I've got for you in the way of detail in this review. So let's get to the final verdict. Should you use Prep 101 for your MCAT prep? Well, personally, I think Prep 101 is a really strong option after finally having the chance to review it. Between their immersive live classes, detailed written materials, MCAT coaching, and solid teaching framework, there's a lot to like. I do have a couple minor grievances with this package, like how intensive the days can get midweek and the on-demand prom solutions, but by and large, I think Prep 101 is an effective MCAT prep package and a safe choice. Our team gives them very high marks, especially compared to competitors Kaplan and Princeton Review. And for people looking for a comprehensive prep option with structured classes, we really like Prep 101. And that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full, detailed, written review that I talked about earlier in this video, make sure to jump over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great content out there. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and we'll see you in the next one.